The Super Smartphone and the Hidden Temple Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a magical super smartphone that could do everything. It could take pictures, play games, talk to people far away, and even help with homework. It was a special phone that only a few knew about. One day, the super smartphone decided that it needed to find a new home, one where it would be appreciated and loved. So, the super smartphone began its journey. It walked through the forest and crossed rivers until it stumbled upon a hidden temple. The temple was old and covered in vines, but it had a warm and welcoming feeling. The super smartphone thought it would be a perfect place to call home. It was quiet and peaceful, and the perfect spot to recharge its battery. As the super smartphone was settling into its new home, it noticed a group of animals sneaking around. They were wearing masks and acting suspiciously. The super smartphone knew it had to investigate. It followed the animals until it reached a secret chamber. The chamber was full of treasure, gold, and precious gems. However, the animals weren't just looking for treasure. They were looking for something else. The super smartphone overheard the animals talking about a magical amulet that would give them all the power in the world. They planned to use this power to rule over all the animals, and even the humans. The super smartphone knew it couldn't let the animals get their paws on such powerful magic. It needed help. So, it reached out to its new friends at the temple. The first friend the super smartphone met was a monkey named Mark. Mark was always up for an adventure and was happy to help the super smartphone. He was brave and used his quick wit to think of clever plans. The second friend the super smartphone met was a wise owl named Olivia. Olivia was the smartest animal in the forest and had a wealth of knowledge. She knew lots of magic and was even able to use her magical powers to levitate objects. The third friend the super smartphone met was a cute and cuddly mouse named Maximum Max was a little hesitant to get involved, but he quickly realized that this was a big adventure. He had to be brave. With the help of these three friends, the super smartphone set out to stop the animals from getting the magical amulet. They needed to use all of their skills and brains to navigate through tricky obstacles and find the amulet before the animals did. The journey was long and difficult. They had to cross a rickety bridge, outsmart a group of angry bees, and even sneak past a giant snake. But they never gave up. They knew they had to stop the animals and save the forest. Finally, they reached the secret chamber where the amulet lay. They could hear the animals' footsteps and knew they had to act fast. Using the super smartphone's magical powers, they created a diversion that led the animals away from the chamber. While the animals were distracted, Mark and Max stole the amulet and Olivia used her magic to deactivate it. They all breathed a sigh of relief, knowing that the animals would never be able to use their powers for evil again. With the amulet safely in their hands, the friends returned to the temple. They celebrated with a special party. They danced, sang, and had lots of fun. The super smartphone stuck to playing music, which was its specialty. In the end, the super smartphone found the perfect place to call home. It had new friends and had saved the forest. It was happy, content, and ready for its next adventure. From then on, the forest was safe from the animal's evil plans.
And every time someone would visit the temple, they would hear the story of the super smartphone and the hidden temple and how it saved the forest from certain doom. The end.